Alright, this is a Denso condenser. This is a Denso condenser. They just changed it. Now this is OEM. This is, uh, I've showed videos of this before, but if you know how small that little bead on the tip of a canister is, or the small of a big ballpoint pen is. Now what we're going to look at, down inside this hole right here, you can see this right here, this little line right there, that's a tube. That's a pipe. Think of it as a pipe, and that is a pipe. But they're flat. instead of round, they squash them for they're flat. And if you could see how small the tip of that wire is, and compare it in the thickness, that little tiny wire right there, here, let me do a close-up so we can get a real good comparison. Okay, now we're close-up. You see that little wire there compared to my finger in the narrow size? Now that's a hollow tube. You see that? It just about takes up the whole wire right there. Well, where am I at? Okay, sorry guys. Right there. See that little wire? Compared to that tube, the flatness of that tube. And that tube is hollow and it has channels in it. That tube actually has fins, just like you see all these fins right here going through. Inside that tube there is fins that conduct heat off the surface area from the refrigerant. So let's go up here and look inside and show you how small and look at the thickness the thickness is about 16 millimeters i'm gonna estimate somewhere around 16 millimeters 12 millimeters 13 somewhere around there now think of something that is about say 13 to 16 millimeters long now let's look inside can you see that that's one of the tubes right there can we see the other one you can see the other one right there and do you see the fins that they have built, constructed inside the two surfaces? Do you see how many fins there are in there? The aftermarket ones do not do that. And the more fins you have inside your tube, the more surface area you have, the more heat you can remove from the refrigerant when it's pumping through there. So even when you get a good looking aftermarket condenser and you do count that it has this almost, usually they're not the same, but they almost have the same number of refrigerant tube passages, it doesn't matter if they even copy the number of tube passages, they don't copy what's inside the tube. They give you far less because that costs money. That's a very precise manufacturing process that a lot of the aftermarket cannot copy and they have not got to that level so it still fools you when you think you got a good looking condenser on the outside you don't you don't get this on the inside remember salesmen marketing all about business and money that costs money to produce and that gets rid of heat so those low life scum sucking pieces of crap salesmen and marketing who import some of the, some of these aftermarket, not all are garbage. They'll cheat you many ways and many videos I've made. I showed you the outside, how they cheat you on condenser finish and tubage. It's the inside that counts. So catch you on the next one. Denzo, Denzo, like for life. If the aftermarket want to make aftermarket condensers and make them cheaper to give you a break but still give you the same performance, why don't they give you one more tube in a, in a row, in a whole thing? Why don't they give you one more fin? Why don't they go the other way and give more instead of less and still produce them for less? Alright, that's all I got to say. See you guys later.